Hey, and welcome back. As a tech recruiter myself, I talked a lot about the prominence of the growing technology industry. It should hopefully come as no surprise to most of you that information technology and computer science jobs are some of the most lucrative and in-demand roles out there. And with the industry's constant growth, it's only getting more and more prominent. According to the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, computer and information research employment is expected to grow 22% from 2020 to 2030, and 3,200 jobs are being created each year. More people than ever before are considering a job in the computer and information sciences. Even veteran workers established in other industries are returning to school to learn this still burgeoning trade, looking for a chance to get ahead later in life. Still, some might be interested in learning more about the industry, but daunted by one specific topic, coding. To many people, computer and information sciences are inseparable from the almost mythical skill of learning programming languages. If you have the drive, motivation, and interest, I highly recommend you try to learn a programming language. It is an invaluable skill that even if you don't plan on utilizing in a professional setting, it will honestly help you better understand how software is made, and not to mention it will look great on a resume or cover letter. However, learning to code is just like learning any other language. It requires patience and analytical mind, and it's a huge time commitment. If you love technology and want to work in the industry but have no idea how to code, never fear. There are plenty of jobs in the tech industry that don't require any knowledge of coding. So I've scoured job boards and career-related websites and developed a list of the 10 most frequently occurring positions that don't require any knowledge of coding. Some of these are administrative, while others are more design-based. They utilize skills like writing, graphic design, and market research to assist with the development and sale of various software products. In this video, we'll be counting down the top 10 computer science and information technology jobs that don't require coding. But before we get started, if you're excited, please consider liking, subscribing, clicking that bell. It really, really means a lot. That's completely free. QA engineer. One of the most important non-coding jobs, heavily desired by laymen and often overlooked by programmers and executives, is that of the QA tester. QA stands for quality insurance, which is just a fancy way of saying testing software to make sure it doesn't break. QA engineers are tasked with putting software to various usage scenarios to make sure everything is working as intended. Their ultimate goal is to ensure that users have a smooth experience once the product is released to the public. If they run into any issues or bugs, they report it to the development team to fix. While using software and yes, playtesting video games may still seem like a dream job, to many, it's still a job. QA testers are technically minded and tasked with running the programs through a variety of tests. It's not exactly as fun as mindlessly playing a video game. Business analyst. Business analysts keep a close eye on the needs of the consumers and communicate them to the development team so they know what areas of the software to focus on. It isn't as easy as simply passing along reviews and feedback though, hence the analyst part. Business analysts also research market trends and the company's internal systems and processes to make informed decisions on the direction of the product. Their research helps determine a project's intended features and lays out a roadmap to completion. Business analysts have a tricky job of balancing the consumer's wants and needs with that of the development team. They often have to make hard compromises with the company's best needs in mind. Graphic designer. Graphic design is one of the most artistically inclined roles in the tech industry. As in other industries, the graphic designer is responsible for the look of the product and its marketing materials from font type, color, and overall design. Graphic designers who work on the software itself will work closely with the UX UI designers or product designers who we'll talk about in just a moment. On the other side, you have graphic designers who work with the marketing and sales team. They create things like advertisements and even the physical packaging of the product for when it is shipped out to stores. Without a graphic designer to develop eye-catching visuals to promote your product, it may go unnoticed. A data analyst. Data analysts perform a very similar job to business analysts, but at a smaller, more specialized level. Data analysts can work under many different umbrellas in the tech world. Their main job is taking and interpreting raw data, for example, usage numbers and translating that into something that can be used by the other various teams in the organization. Typically, data analysts provide actionable steps to reach a specific goal based on the research they've done. SEO specialist. So have you ever wondered how Google manages and sorts the enormous amount of websites they catalog in the search engine? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, and it refers to the process of tailoring web content such as homepages and blogs to rank higher in the search index, therefore appearing close to the top of the search results and driving more traffic to the content in question. SEO specialists are typically strong writers tasked with including specific keywords, internal and external hyperlinks, and relevant information in the content they create. They work closely with the technical writers and marketing and sales teams. Marketing and sales. Software development is more than just creating usable programs. 
How do you reach your target audience and grow your reach, especially when there are hundreds if not thousands of competitors? This is where the marketing team comes into play. They work with many different teams across the company to develop an effective growth and profit strategy for the product. They are responsible for producing advertisements and performing research to see how to best publicize the software. Project Manager Project managers may not know how to code, but they have a deep understanding of the software development process and how to best optimize a workflow to effectively reach a company's goal. They coordinate work between teams and ensure tasks are being done satisfactorily and on time. Project managers keep a close eye on the project roadmap and evaluate employees in order to report back to executives to make high-level decisions about the direction of the project. They are highly organized, effective communicators, and strong negotiators. System Admin System administrators set up and perform maintenance on the company's internal network. They are responsible for the smooth operation and quick repair of the on-site system and quickly responds to any issues that may arise during the development process. As such, a strong technical mind is needed to perform this role but coding knowledge isn't necessary. Still, you should have a strong idea of how computers and technology systems interact and how to troubleshoot them when something goes inevitably wrong. The system admin is one of the most important internally facing roles in the organization as they maintain smooth communication between the teams. Technical Writer so when you open up a new product, like a brand new laptop, do you ever take the time to flip through the warranty information and instruction manual? Do you ever wonder who writes the thousands of words contained within them? This is the job for the technical writer, who works with the development team to translate complex operations into simple to follow instructions. They are responsible for cataloging the functions of a software product and ensuring that the instruction manual is accurate, up to date, and exhaustive, even if some people don't ever open it up. UX UI design. Last but certainly not least is the role of UX or UI design. UX stands for user experience and UI stands for user interface. They are two different concepts that go hand in hand and deal with how the end user interacts with the software's visual presentation. In the early days of computer software, everything was presented in bland text. As computers became widespread and displays more advanced, it became necessary to improve the user experience with things like buttons, menus, and graphics laid out in a logical manner. Thus, the role of the user experience designer was born. UX designers are responsible for mapping out and simulating the process a user goes through when utilizing the software. They work with the graphic design team to ensure the product is responsive and easy to use with a logical workflow that helps users achieve their goals without too much hassle on their end. So this wraps up this video, counting down the top 10 non-coding tech jobs. If you can think of another role in the IT industry that doesn't rely on computer programming, be sure to drop it down below. Love to hear from you. Otherwise, if you like this video, want to see more like it, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking that bell. It's completely free. Please also feel free to follow me at press underscore park as I try my best to post daily. Otherwise, thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.